Hi friends, welcome to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla. I have more fabrics to show you today that are new in the store, but first I want to talk about a couple of things. Forgive my hair. I have a deep conditioner in right now. I'm just keeping it real, people. My hair has been a disaster. If you saw my video before this one, um, it's just been really hideous lately, and today is the day that I let it soak in a deep conditioner. I did some research, and I think that I need protein, and I just so happen to have a protein deep conditioner um, in my hair product arsenal. So check the next video and see if my hair looks better, okay? Um, so what am I wearing today? No me maids at all. Sorry, we're, I just, I still don't have enough me maids that are casual, which is something that I wanna work towards. So I'm wearing my Saturday uniform, um, which is Converse jeans. These happen to be Lee jeans, a cute t-shirt from Zulily with an elephant on the side. And um, it has, you know, the raised sides and a little bit lower in the back, which I love. I love these t-shirts and they're cheap, you know, like, I don't know, 10 or $15. And then when it gets chilly, I have my crazy cardigan to put on on top. This is a Land's End. I have a bunch of Land's End cardigans because I think that they are the best quality and if you get them on sale, the best value in cardigans bar none. However, not that I'm going to get rid of my Land's End cardigans, but um, I do want to make some me made cardigans. And so that will be something that I work on this winter because I do wear cardigans in the fall and winter every single day, essentially, um, whether it's at work or running around town, um, going to the grocery store or whatever. So I guess my hair is the um, equivalent of going to the store in curlers like women used to do in the 60s. And um, I'm maybe a little bit embarrassed to admit that I don't care. So I'm hoping that when I wash this out, that my um, good hair will come back. Cause I like my hair. I don't, I, I don't, I mean, I like it. So, um, but I don't like it right now because it has looked ugly lately. All right, so what am I gonna tell you about today? More winter fabrics. All of these are from Kaufman. They're all brand new. We will be getting them in the store as soon as possible. Speaking of which, we are really struggling with our product photography. Um, I used to be able to do it. I had an Etsy store for many, many years and I sold thousands of greeting cards. I used to be super into paper crafting and um, I had my, my photography down pat. I understood how to do it both inside and out, but inside I had a little light box um, I don't know if that's what you call them, but I could place the card in there and take the pictures and make sure that my camera setting and everything was okay. But for big things like bolts of fabric, I'm having a terrible time. I tried to take pictures this morning. It didn't matter. Um, the wind was howling and it was gray, gray, gray. Um, and then we got rain and it's clearing up now. So maybe later I can go outside. So I had to just try inside and no matter where I put my ISO, whether I put it on manual, whether I put it on um, automatic, the flash didn't, sometimes it wouldn't even take the picture. It would just tell me it was busy and I really don't understand photography. And the reason why my photographs were so good in my Etsy store and they were good is just through sheer practice and remembering my settings. I haven't gotten there with the fabric and now that we're moving into winter, our light has changed. And so I'm having to adapt to that because we started the shop in July and so I had perfect light every single day. And Colorado really isn't gray all the time. We have the like, 345 days of sun or some crazy high number. Um, but it still is hard to take pictures. So we're looking into that and I apologize for the bad photographs in the shop. We're gonna buy some kind of light kit and see if we can get it sorted out. 
I hope I don't need a new camera. I think my camera is good. It's a Canon EOS Rebel. It's an old one. It's like 10 years old, but I still think that it's good enough to take great pictures. I just am not good enough to get the best out of that camera. So if you know of any like rank amateur photo courses or if you can just tell me, Carla, put your camera on these settings and it'll work, that would be awesome. But you want to see the fabric. Okay, first fabric. This is, and I've never sewn with this fabric. I bought this because I thought it would be a great fall winter fabric. This is a by stretch gabardine. It is $13 a yard and it is in the color charcoal. So let's see. I haven't even unfolded it off the bolt yet. This one hasn't been photographed. Okay, so this is a gorgeous, lightweight, oh, I'm going to need that. Not that piece. Not that piece. I'll need that piece. And that piece. Okay, this is a gorgeous, lightweight suiting in a beautiful, rich, um, it's a smooth suiting, but it is heathered. And um, the, the one side is less heathered than the other side, but I believe that you could use um, either side. It is not see-through at all, barely. And I'm in front of huge French doors. So even if I point it right at the window, it is barely see-through. So you could feel confident making anything out of this fabric, including close-fitting dress pants. Um, you would not have any fears of anything showing. And so I'm, I'm kind of thrilled with this fabric. I think this is going to be a great basic for the winter wardrobe. I would make any kind of dress pants... I would make pencil skirts out of this. I think the drape is good enough so that you could make um, half circle skirts, circle skirts, you know, to wear with tall boots. Um, and you could make uh, blazers. Let's check this stretch out. Winter fabrics are heavy, you guys. The stretch is very small, okay? It's there, but this is not a super stretchy fabric by any means, okay? So it does have give. When you sit down, it's going to give a little bit and um, maybe not cut you off at the waist like a fabric without any stretch. I mean, Kaufman is calling it a bi-stretch gabardine. So it has that gabardine weave, which is um, a twill weave. And this is, um, so that's a diagonal weave, just like denim. And um, this is a very nice quality basic um, and in a perfectly basic color. I love this color of gray with black and I love it with navy. Um, so this, I love it with olive. This is a, that's a good one. Okay, our next fabric is um, a corduroy 21 whale. Oh, I didn't tell you what that was made of. Sorry, you guys are used to it by now, right? My lack of organization, my complete lack of organization. Um, by stretch gabardine in charcoal, 58% poly, 36% rayon. You guys know my love of rayon. Um, I think it makes all fabrics more comfortable to wear, period. It has other beautiful qualities um, in, in terms of adding drape and other things, but if you see this big of a percentage, 36% of rayon in a fabric, you can rely on it as being a comfortable fabric to wear. So 58 poly, 36 rayon, and 6% spandex. That's a lot of spandex. It doesn't feel that stretchy, but that's what's in there. Oh, and the Care Machine Wash Cold Delicate Cycle Wash, wash dark colors separately. Do not bleach, tumble dry low, remove promptly, cool iron if needed. 
It is 57 inches wide and it is a two-way stretch gabardine. Now, corduroy. This corduroy, both of the corduroys I'm going to show you today are $12 a yard and I'm so excited about the colors that we got. Okay, so this first one is rust. There are so many incredible patterns out right now that would be ideal for this fabric. This is 100% cotton, 21 whale corduroy in rust, Machine wash cold, delicate cycle, no bleach, wash dark colors separately, tumble dry low, remove promptly. This is 57 inches wide. It's gorgeous. It's your classic corduroy. Not like the finest, definitely not um, large whale corduroy, um, but you're just your classic corduroy. It has a beautiful kind of velvety sheen and a nice drape. It would be good for virtually anything you wanted to make for the fall or winter. That includes pants. Um, I think there's enough drape in here to make culottes. Um, you could make the narrower culottes or the more full culottes. They, it, would, it would drape for those. Um, jackets, um, skirts, dresses, and obviously, Pinafores. Pinafores are the A number one adorable thing in corduroy. It's just irresistible, absolutely irresistible. It's a classic. Um, and so that's the rust colorway. And here is the ginger colorway. Everything is the same, 57 inches wide, 100%. Um, cotton, machine wash, tumble dry low, and just gorgeous. I'm going to see if that's a folding thing on there. So beautiful, beautiful, drapey, just perfect for fall and winter sewing. I, um, I'm thrilled to have these in the store and I think you guys are going to love them and have fun with them. Of course, you machine wash and dry these before you cut them out. Um, I machine wash and dry everything. Even our, like our Yoryu, our Kyoto Rayon Yoryu, which is the most expensive fabric in our store outside of the vintage um, bark cloths. Those are way more expensive. But that, yo that your you is $19 a yard and um, I put it right in the washer and the dryer and um, because that's the life I lead and I'm not going to really have fabrics in my life that are finicky or take a lot of um, special treatment because I just don't, I'm just not interested in fiddling with it. All right, the next two fabrics are flannels and the first one, um, let's see, are they both $12? Yes, both of these flannels are $12 a yard. And this first one was somewhat inspired by Lindsay from um, Inside the Hem. She made that adorable, um, like, denim style skirt, and it wasn't out of flannel. But when I saw this flannel, and um, you know of my love affair with Kaufman flannels, they're the best. I mean, flat out the best. They're not the least expensive, but they are the best. And um, these are flannels that are going to last you years and years and years. Now, this is a flannel print. It is not woven. You can see on the back that it's a print. But it's still printed onto gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Kaufman flannel. I kind of like this backside. Can you see that? Let me, let me get a little more out. If you want a more tame version, there's the back. That's totally cool. And here is the front. This flannel has gray, a mustardy green, and a milky, um, like a milk chocolate brown, and a dark, you know that gray is kind of, it's a green gray, 
And then there's also like a dark charcoal gray in there. And um, I love it. I love it for flannel pajama pants. I love it for um, a tamarack jacket. I love it for um, a shirt, like a flannel shirt. I think you could make a really cute pinafore out of this. Um, a jumper, we call them jumpers. Um, we call jumpers the ones that don't have like straps. It's like more of a tank dress. That's a jumper in the United States. And then we call pinafores things that have straps usually and buttons or buckles. Um, and then, so this is 100% cotton. It's made in Japan. Machine wash cold, no bleach. Wash dark colors separately. Tumble dry low, remove promptly, 41 inches wide. And this is flannel, so this is narrow. Okay, 41 inches wide. 100% Japanese cotton. And I think we all know how we feel about Japanese cotton. This fabric is stunning. This is called Adventure. This is from the Durango flannel line. It is 100% cotton. It's made in India. Um, I think the color is Adventure. Machine wash cold, no chlorine bleach, normal cycle, tumble dry low, Warm iron if needed, 44 inches wide. This is stunning, you guys. The quality of this fabric blows my mind. I have worked with flannel a lot during my sewing years because I love flannel. It's just a fabric that really appeals to me. And so I have worked a lot with the fabric, the flannel at Joann's. And I still love it, you know, I, I love all those cute patterns and all that stuff, those prints. But you, these, this flannel and that flannel are not even in the same ballpark. They are two entirely different animals. This, the depth of color, the, the weaving, the pattern, the weight, the drape, the beautiful sheen of that cotton, this fabric is stunning. It's got black, a very bright orange, hunter green, a um, turquoise blue, um, a, a red that goes into the orange. It is gorgeous. I have not decided what I want to make with this yet, but I must have this. I love this fabric so much, it would almost be more fun for me to gather up the nerve to finally make Troy a shirt um, and so I could actually look at it instead of, because you don't really get to look at your clothes while you're wearing them. The weight of this is pretty dang heavy, you guys. Um, this would have to be a removable layer if you do not live in a cold climate. You could not probably, unless your, your, your body thermostat is very good at, at cooling itself, you know, at regulating itself, which mine isn't, um, you would need to make this as a removable layer, okay? Because um, it is heavy. Here is the wrong side, which... How could anyone say that this was wrong? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. This side is every bit as beautiful if you're looking for a stripe as the other side. And this gives you a really good picture, a clear picture of the colors. This fabric, if, if I was doing a show, a fabric show, this would be best of show. I mean, stunning. Look at that. It's just stunning. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And I hope that you enjoyed the fabrics that I had to show you today. I will be back soon 
We have five more fabrics to show you. And I just don't like these videos to be too long. That's why I break them down so you can come and watch them quickly and, um, and then go on with your life. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these fabrics today. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you again soon.